It is 3 o'clock on Sunday afternoon, off day technically today, off day from weight training, going to go ahead and do some cardio, some hit today, I did this last time, back to hit today, weight went up to 74.2 today, uh, so definitely could do with some cardio I would think, and it's good though because the weight's back on track going upwards um, after, uh, you know, like a couple of weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago, we had... Um, it was pretty stagnant, uh, so now that I've added about 50 to 100 extra calories each day, seems to have put everything back on track on the upward trend. It is going up a lot more than I actually expected it to, but uh, it's also kind of balanced out like the last three weeks. It stayed around 74, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, kind of dreading cardio though, not just because it's cardio, but because my legs are still freaking sore from my leg workout, which was on Friday, and they... You know how everyone says like, you know, the day after leg day, you know, you'll feel it, but I actually saw something a few years back now, but it was like, it's not the day after leg day that you'll know that you had a good leg session, it's the day after the day after, so that's today for me, and I am definitely, I can definitely tell I had a good leg workout, my quads are really, really sore, and I'm like hobbling around everywhere, um, but yeah, so I'm going to go and try and do my normal hit cardio which I'm sure is going to be even more painful after I'm done but uh, it'll all be worth it. Uh, so this morning I actually I did a, spent a little bit of time uh, editing the video before this one which had the way in at the end of it and so I've got all of that ready. I've just got to go home later on this afternoon and do a commentary for it. Got to go and buy a whole bunch of food, some groceries today as well and then what I was also doing before I came, I actually, it's 3 o'clock now, I was procrastinating for a while because I was watching a bit of uh, the Olympia, uh, what I thought was live, the some of the uh, pose downs and stuff, but I don't, I don't actually think it was live. I know like Steve Cook used to do men's physique and he kind of didn't like the direction it was going. Um, Jeremy Blender looks alright I think, but um, guys like Jeff Seed as well, side. Um, I think they all, they, yeah, men's physique is for me the, the better of the categories, so I'm not actually sure who won or who is going to win, I'm not sure if it's been decided yet, but I might try and find that out later on today, and uh, yeah, we'll see. So generally the only thing I will do differently on a non-lifting day like today, in terms of nutrition, is I will not have a a shake when I get home from the gym, so normally I have a shake and a banana, uh, whereas on a day like today I'll just have the banana and not the shake because my protein's already high enough generally, so what I do is I don't have a shake and then instead of having a whole scoop of powder, uh, today I'll have half a scoop later on with some, some Greek yogurt, turn it into like a little chocolatey, kind of like a des uh, mousse type dessert thing which I normally have before I go to bed. And so, yeah, I'll just have half a scoop today. Just, you know, I don't need the extra protein as much. Obviously, I still need to, to hit my protein goals for the day, but I don't mind, you know, I'm only missing out on 10 grams or something from um, only having half a scoop. So I'm already like 20 grams over what I technically need. So I'm happy to miss out 10 grams today, um, and I'll either make up for it in other food, with um, other protein foods, or I'll either have more carbs, or I'll just miss out on like 50 calories for today because I didn't lift, um, and all I did was cardio, but apart from that, nutrition is pretty much the same, and I'm just getting my post-workout meal ready here, and then... I still got to find out how the Olympia went.
So uh, I still haven't talked about uh, the Olympia yet, so I did find out that uh, Phil Heath won. Actually when I got home on Sunday managed to catch uh, it live on YouTube, but it was pretty funny. I was watching the live stream and there was like 12,000 of us watching this one channel that was streaming it. And um, it, uh, it cut out, like, they had, they were down to the final two, which was Phil Heath and, uh, I don't think it was Dexter, I can't remember the other guy. Um, but it was down to the final two and they were about to announce, you know, the winner and everything and then, um, yeah, it cut out, so, and then when it came back, Phil Heath was getting the medal and everything. What I want to know is where was Kai Green, because he wasn't even in the top five, so, uh, I don't think he even competed. I know last year he got like banned, but I thought Kai Green would have had a shot. But yeah, so uh, for those of you that don't watch the Olympia, apparently it's going to be on um, TV next year as well. But hopefully it's going to be screening in New Zealand because I would like to watch it uh, on TV. It would be a lot easier than trying to catch it on YouTube. Um, sorry, camera just cut out. I ran out of space. Uh, today is back day. I'm not sure what I'm going to do actually in terms of like deadlifts or rack pulls, but I guess you guys will find out. Alright, we are going to go back in time really quick. So this is actually Monday's chest footage that you're watching. Uh, just some flat dumbbell bench press that you're seeing here. Now, I did go for a one rep max attempt today, which that clip is coming up in just a minute. And I didn't get it, but I can safely say that I definitely didn't get it. I grabbed the spotter again, and he definitely had to help me out of the hole. Uh, the clip is coming up right about uh, here. So, as you see, I bring it down, and then I get it up, and I thought I might have, uh, that, that sticking point, I thought I almost managed to grind past it, and just, as soon as I could get past that point, I think I would have been able to finish it, but couldn't quite get past the point. I felt like it went down, and I pushed it back up a little bit, but then I just couldn't quite complete it, and so, no one rep max on Monday, but that's right, I was still, you know, moving forward, even though the spotter helped me. You could see he only had like two fingertips on the bar on either side, so it really wasn't too much help, which means that I was still doing majority of the work. It wasn't a rep, I'm not going to count it, but uh, it's still, you know, that's one way to progressively overload is to grab the spotter, and basically it's doing a forced rep, so I will obviously be going for that again before I move up in weight, because that is 200 pounds, so that is the next goal we're trying to hit, and we're very, very close, so very soon, I hope. Uh, doing some skull crushes here, those last few reps weren't that clean. Now we are back to today's footage, Tuesday's back workout, and just some deadlifts here, starting off with 120, and I only did four reps here, which was a, like a warm-up, no one rep max attempt here at all. So I did my fourth rep, and then I was going to go for a fifth one, which I could have done, but like, I had to roll the bar back, you guys know how I complained last time about the, the weights moving all over this rubber mat, and it did that again, but then moving on from that, the positive was that I did 130 for three reps, and did manage to get the lockout on the last rep, and if you remember back to the last time I attempted that for three reps, I kind of got the third rep, but didn't completely get the lockout. Alright, it's later in the day now and I'm going to wrap the video up here, so before I let you go, make sure that you go down in the description box and use that link for a one month free membership on MuscularStrength.com. I forgot to mention last time I talked about this that there is also an app out now. Uh, it's only for Android at the moment, but if you have an Android phone, make sure you go to the Google Play Store and download Muscular Strength, the app. Then you can access routines, articles, uh, exercises, recipes, everything that's on the site, the forums, you can access all of that through your phone, but it will be available for iOS soon as well. I will let you know when that does become available, but until then, you can still use it online, so make sure you check that link in the description box. Download the app if you can. And that's going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next video.